with the Ball State Cardinals, and we're looking forward to this matchup, and certainly the fans are showing that they are as well. Today, an intra-conference battle between a couple of MAC rivals. As we'll see, the Western Michigan Broncos taking on the Ball State Cardinals. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Cardinals will get us started with the opening kickoff. He'll start the return inside his five. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. So the Western Michigan Broncos return man hardly helped out the offense with that one. And here he is. Let me tell you about this wide receiver. He is a route-running, DB-toasting, pass-catching, touchdown-scoring. Woo! Son of a gun. <laughs> I can't wait to see how this defense is going to try and corral this guy because you play man-to-man, -man, you risk him running right by you and catching the deep ball, but you play zone and you give him the opportunity to potentially make yards after the catch. Going to have to be really careful trying to cover that dude. Off play action. Fires to the middle. Got his man downfield. He'll move it up to the 37-yard line and it'll be a first down. It's a nice job running the in route there by the receiver. And the best thing he did after he made his break, he didn't trail and fade away. He actually attacked the football. That's a good lesson for young receivers out there watching. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. From the shotgun, the inside give. Turns it on to midfield. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football, be physical, get a big game. And the Broncos will snap it on first and ten. They're getting this guy lathered up. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Hand off from the shotgun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. Gets it out quickly. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. You gotta love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives live? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. What do you do? You set up fourth and long. You're gonna get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the offense has a long field in front of them as the ball is marked down at the 10. So Ball State's offense has its first opportunity of the day. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while well, they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective team. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Now second and ten from their own ten. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Pushes the pile for a couple of yards down at the 12. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. 
On third down, he drops the throw. Finds a man in the middle. He'll have the first down as he gets it to the 28-yard line before he stops. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. Now on first down from the 28. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. And the Cardinals want to pick up the tempo. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Listen, you've you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Now on third down for this offense. They'll try to bully their way for the first. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. Now it's a first down from the 43-yard line. to the ground with the back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Running back goes in motion. To the air, it's Kelly. Floats it out in space. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Listen, if I'm a QB, second down, I want to check the ball down and get a manageable third down, but when this defense is flying around like this, so fast closing out, he got to that running back, got him on the ground so fast, the running back had nowhere to go. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Quick strike complete. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. All right, we got the completion. We got some yardage. We got some positive yards. Now we're in fourth and manageable. And you dang right, we're going for this puppy. We got our fourth down play ready to roll. We're calling it in. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. Looks as if this will be a 51-yard attempt. Smashes it between the uprights. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before. And here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drive. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. Head coach has to be happy with that. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Guys, we're about to get another look at this Western Michigan offense. They try to pop a run on the draw. Good blocking, good running pickup of six out to the 30. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And he won't 
quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside, and David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion, so everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run. It just it makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of the spot. Well, they were trying to set up the option, but the quarterback had no chance. Did you see the defensive tackle penetrate? What a great first step. He shot right through the offensive line and got the TFL. The Broncos decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. Ball State takes over the football and the Cardinal offense headed out. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. Yeah, and listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. they just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker, who is so important to this team. Back to pass, it's Kelly. Oh, it's a pass. It's complete, a huge pickup. And he was off to the races, finally tripped up at the 36. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense gonna be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. They'll ride Davis here. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down, gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make him honor the run. Make him know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. The pass is incomplete. Thought they might catch the defense napping, but it'll be third down. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. Looking to throw on third. And the defense is not fooled. That trick play blown up. Couldn't get the pass off. And they are fortunate the football didn't come loose. They'll play it safe and try for three. And for the second time in this game, he'll try to knock through a field goal. This one, a 41-yarder. Good right down the boulevard. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Western Michigan has it back as they send the offense onto the field. Out of the shoot, quick toss to the right. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. Great play by the cornerback. He was just way too physical at the point of attack. He beat his man trying to block him, and he tackled that receiver on the screen. 
Line getting set on second down. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on the defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. Excellent job working through the air. They're finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. And the Broncos come to the line with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, running back gets to give. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Now on the counter. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throats, and they gashed you. They're down to the 32-yard line on first and 10. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to push, have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the right side. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it then? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Man, that's a really good job by the defense because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you've got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing bold, got it stopped, now forcing a fourth down. They'll try to cap off this drive with a field goal. Between the uprights, it's good. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Ball State gets it back. The offense headed to the field. On the move, it's slow. They knock him down, but not before he gets it out to the 21-yard line. Pick up a four. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Runs through a tackle. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. Now 
That brings us to the close of the quarter, and Ball State has the lead. We've played one. Before we move on, let's have a look at the stats. And they've swapped into the field, and we'll get it going in the second. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Fires to the wideout. It falls incomplete. How about the trickeration on first down that just goes awry? After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? Looking to throw, it's Kelly. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And there was lots of space as he gets it to the 39-yard line. On third down, offenses have their plays. What they like in third and short, what they like third and medium, third and long. Great job by the offense having success. Now it's incumbent upon the defense to learn their plays and try to shut it down throughout the game. Quick pass on the jet motion. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver and different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page playing together. I love it. They almost got a first down there. Stopped a yard short. It'll be third down. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. They've worked it down to the 30. This defense standing tall, trying to force a field goal try. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. The Cardinals get enough for the first down. That is how it's done on third down and short. Uh, no doubt about it. An easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. If you really want to simplify football, the low man wins. That time, the offense got the better of the D. Easily pick that up. And the Cardinals will have it first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. They're, oh, he's got an arm on him. He's throwing to the end zone. It'll fall incomplete. A little creativity on first down, but it doesn't work. It'll be second down. Ready to fire from the pistol. Right back up top on second and ten. And the defense sniffs it out, and they're all over it down he goes couldn't even get the throw off on the trick play the defense just simply not fooled by the play action oftentimes as an offense you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers but man oh man they had their ears pinned back and they've converted their first two third down opportunities but a third and long is a different animal Looking for a man. It's Kelly. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Well, that time on third and long, they just took what the defense gave him. Nothing down the field. They were hoping maybe he could make somebody miss after the catch. Wasn't able to do it, so now it sets up fourth. So here comes the field goal unit. They've been doing work today. They've already made a couple. And this one is anything but routine. A 48-yard attempt from the right hash. Thought he had it and couldn't get it through the uprights. He missed it. It's still a three-point game after the miss. The 
Western Michigan offense ready to go back to work. They've been pretty much stifled on offense so far, David. Only able to muster three points in their previous three drives. And you got to find a way to open this up and create some explosive plays. The passing game is obviously the easiest way. Jesse, put more speed on the field. Find those guys down the field. And you know they're frustrated, too, because they felt like there were some matchups they could take advantage of to get some points on the board early in this one. They just haven't been able to connect on those opportunities. But I like David's idea. Maybe move some guys around and see if you can create some better one-on-one -on -one matchups. To the ground. He's got it again. Still on his feet at the 45. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride, and they want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far, but starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. From the gun, they'll try the middle. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run, got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively, getting downhill and getting in the backfield and making a tackle for a loss. A third and long coming up here. To the air, it's Wolf. Pocket starts to collapse. Always a welcome play for the defense as they get a sack at the 47. They'll tell you that somebody's always going to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Quarterback hesitated. I got to him and got him on the ground. Might be a good call later on in the game. The Broncos will try to pin them back with the punt. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. Ball State takes over the football, and the Cardinal offense headed out. They've had a couple of productive drives, but they've had to settle for field goals in two of their three previous possessions, Jesse. Yeah, this is an offense that takes a lot of pride in execution, and they feel like they should have scored a touchdown every single drive. So while it's been good, not great, David, just execute a little bit better, and they can put this one in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think you point that out. We went all the way down the field on two of our first three drives and got field goals. Now, just a little better execution when, you, when that field starts to shrink and it gets a little bit more difficult. Grabbed in the backfield. It's slow. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Nice job, defense. You always hear people talk about tackling the catch. You saw it right there. There was nowhere for that receiver to go once he had possession. As a result, no game. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. They've got the screen set up. And it's pretty obvious there was a big hole in that screen, and the defense ran right through it. I like the play call on offense. I like you trying to get the running back involved in the pass game, too. Defense was ready for that one. Let's see what you've got dialed up on third. Now facing a third and long. Looking downfield, it's Kelly. Moves around to clear up the vision. And the trick play, and it won't work. The defense all over him before he could even turn the ball loose. They're lucky to hang on to the football. The Cardinals will send out the punt unit. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Wouldn't call it a shank, but I don't think he'll include it on his greatest hits. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Guys, we're about to get another look at this Western Michigan offense. Gonna run it. It's Buckley. 
Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Make the stop at the 40, but he's got 15 yards on that one and a first down. And with that last carry, into triple digits, over 100 yards for the day. And he's showing you power. He's showing you speed. He's showing you make you miss. He really is showing you he's a complete back. And by the way, it's still the first half. They'll try the run. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. He'll keep it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're trying to go option, but the linebacker shows his open field tackling ability and also his recognition. He expected the quarterback to keep it, went after him, was able to make the tackle for loss. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Dropping back, it's Wolf. Throws to the wideout. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look. They're third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. And the Broncos will punt this one away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. Ball State gets it back. The offense headed to the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game, you're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal gain. And after that last run, we'll see if they keep it on the ground on third. It's a draw. They'll pick up the first down as he gets it out to the 27-yard line. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Right down the middle. Wide open downfield. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. He'll come out throwing on first down. Catch in the middle. It's Presley. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Another first down. Man, this, this, defense, this defense couldn't stop a nosebleed right now. It's that bad. And the Cardinals come to the line with a new set of downs. Wide receiver coming across in motion. The run from the shotgun. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six.
They go to the ground. Pushes ahead for two to the seven-yard line. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Back to throw. It's Kelly. Pressure coming. Buys a little extra time. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to get the three. And he'll boot one from the right hash. He ought to be able to navigate that angle from this distance. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Western Michigan has it back as they send the offense onto the field. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Caught in the backfield, it's Buckley. Afterburner's coming. The 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Broncos! And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. Man, how hard is it to defend when you have a weapon like this at running back that can play wide receiver? You can design ways to get the football in his hand. Palmer, once you get it in his hands, he'll do the rest. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and oftentimes those are easier throws for quarterbacks. And these running backs, they're just naturally so good when they have the football out in space. Their vision, their creativity, their ability to make people miss. And this guy showed you right there a difficult, difficult guy to stop now if you're this defense moving forward. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point puts them on top, 10-9. to nine. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Using his legs, it's slow. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. They finally get him on the ground with a big running play moves to change for the first down. So much for the tough field position. One play, and you're already to the 35. To the air on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Robinson. He's brought down solid. Pick up, but a little bit short of the first down. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves open. The hurry up now, second down, clock ticking. Back to throw, it's Kelly. Good timing on the quick out. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver, nice job securing the catch. The Cardinals have it with a first and ten. He wants to throw. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground covered. Pick up the first. 
Well, you can tell those two have been practicing the out route all off season long. They look like they could have completed that in their sleep. And the Cardinals in the hurry up. He's back to throw on second down. That's caught. It's Presley. And he picks up a first down. That is not a flag on the play. It's just lingerie on the deck after that move. You got to give the O-line a lot of credit there because it gave the receiver time to work all the way across the field on the drag route against zone coverage. Quarterback gets it to him. He's able to turn it up and get a first down. Going to try to get it himself. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. They've moved it into scoring territory, first and 10 from the 11. He's going to pass. Incomplete, and they tried to catch him flat-footed on first down, but the defense was ready. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Looking to pass. It's Kelly. Using his legs to buy some time. He almost punched it in for six. They'll get him down at the one-yard line. And guys, how much better does it feel if you go to that locker room with a lead? They have a chance to do it. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Cardinals! And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground. Take the lead going into the half. Take all the momentum. Nice execution on the drive by that offense. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is good, and the lead is six. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard punt. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. Line gets set, first down. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, what a scene there in Muncie. What a fine performance we've seen. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, let's head back to the guys at Schumann Stadium. All lined up and ready to go for a great second half ahead. On the run from inside his own five. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. Ball State takes over the football in the Cardinal offense, headed out. They'll keep it on the ground to start the second half. Solid gain to get him out close to the 20, pick up a five to the 19. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical, they wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. 
Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Little touch pass to the receiver. A little more space opened up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. This offense has a lot of different ways they can attack you, and you're going to see the entire playbook at work in this game. Throwing it, running it, and getting guys the ball out on the perimeter. Great job. Now on first down from the 30. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Oh, and he wants to throw. And he gets the foot down. It's a catch deep along the left sideline. And a big reason why this team has the lead in this game is because of plays like that. They know they've got firepower throwing the ball. They've got the dudes outside that can make things happen. You saw it in the first half, and you see it here again early in the third quarter. Looking for space. It's slow. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. It's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot. He's in the hole. He's there to do his job. And you can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. You get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back, you got to make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense when now they got a, a manageable situation. To throw, it's Kelly. It's complete on the right side. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. And a great job by the QB, finding the running back, getting the football where he can do some damage after the catch, and most importantly, get the first down. The Cardinals with the first and ten. Wide receiver shows motion. Touch pass on the run. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. And here comes play number six of the drive. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Shotgun snap on third down. He's got it on the run. They get him stopped at the five-yard line, but it will be first and goal from there. And I like it. Third down and short, and this offense stays aggressive, and now they're set up. Forget the field goal. We're not looking for three now. Now set up in a first and goal, trying to get a touchdown. And the Cardinals will try to put one on the board on first and goal. Fast motion from the offense. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. And he will take it in. Touchdown, Ball State. Backed up in the shadow of their own goalpost, no problem. When you start in the black zone inside your own 20 coming out, it's difficult. You can give up a safety, you get worried about that. The offense puts a great drive together. Great job executing, great job getting a touchdown. Here comes the two-point try. Looking for a man. It's Kelly. Looking to the big tight end. He's got it. Two-point try is good as they build on this lead. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Western Michigan offense ready to go back to work. On the ground, it's Buckley. 
Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point of the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Paul, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great, so... I know offensively, I got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. He's got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. Broncos will line up to punt it away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Leaves it with the back. And you want to talk about gang tackling everybody on the defense. Run to the ball. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. And now on third down after that last run. Back to throw, it's Kelly. Unloads to the wideout. Nobody falling for the tomfoolery, the chicanery, and it'll be fourth down. The Cardinals will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Oh, this is a bad, bad shank. It'll go out of bounds, and we'll see where they mark it. It's going to be right around the 35. Guys, we're about to get another look at this Western Michigan offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. And it looks as if they've buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. So the officials take a closer look, and the replay booth will overturn the call. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. I just love the play call. You're getting a fast player out in the open field, and it's enough to get you a first down. Just nosing into enemy territory at the 49. It's first and 10. Motion from the offense. Quick pass on the fly motion. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Picked up some yardage on the ground. Now here comes second down. Wants to throw. It's Wolf gets it out fast. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Well, the defense did a nice job taking everything away down the field, but once the drag route was caught, they just couldn't rally to the ball carrier in time to make a tackle, and as a result, new set of downs. And the Broncos are on the move. From the gun, the running back has it. 
productive four-yard gain there on the ground as he gets it down to the 31. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Pulls and throws off the RPO. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. They're trying to throw the screen out to the receiver. The defense, though, having none of that. They are just too physical. They're too fast, and they force a negative play. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. He can't make the catch. He was open on the crossing route. Instead, they're facing a fourth down. And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard to execute, especially when the field starts to shrink. But the good news is they got a field goal in their back pocket. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. Looks as if this will be a 51-yard attempt. Oh, he missed it. No good. And after the miss, it's still a 14-point game. State gets it back. The offense headed to the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this game. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. going to run it. It's slow. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? If you're the defense, you know that running back is the guy you've now got to stop. He's had a lot of touches in this game. Yes, he's made a lot of plays, but you've got a chance to win here. If you're going to do that, you need to take him away. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. And the defense is not fooled. That trick play blown up. Couldn't get the pass off. And they are fortunate the football didn't come loose. And the Cardinals line up to punt it away. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He'll feel the punt and take it back. He was working his way on the return toward midfield. They'll stop him at the 46. Western Michigan has it back as they send the offense onto the field. Looking to go up top on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Buckley. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football, they play a wide receiver basically for you, but you got to find a guy that you can throw it to, and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Trying play action. Oh, he's going to try to hit him deep. Snags it inside the 20. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Western Michigan. Got to start cutting into this lead somewhere. Now the question, will they have enough time? But that's step one. You, you got to get that first score. You got to get back in the ball game and get some of that momentum back on your side. You still got more work to do, but step one accomplished. He'll try to tack on one more. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays. They get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. 
They're just about ready to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Now he's just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Ball State takes over the football and the Cardinal offense headed out. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Got a man. It's Davis. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Nice job by the running back catching the football and understanding where the first down marker was. I got to go get that first down. Did a nice job of it. They'll snap it from the 39. First and 10. Got it in the middle. It's Robinson. Using him out of the slot, he has just been unstoppable. And I love putting dynamic athletes in the slot that I can move around, that I can put in motion, that I can, I can make him go in or out. I can put him off the ball so you can't get hands on him. And they've really featured this guy today. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking downfield, it's Kelly. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. Got him downfield. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. This coaching staff has really done a nice job marrying the play-action game to their running game. That looked like that was going to be a run. Everything in that play said they're running the ball downhill. At the last second, quarterback pulled the football, and he was able to complete the throw. The Cardinals will snap it on first and ten. Leaves it with the running back. Relying on that running game, and it works for about three yards to the 31. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him out of the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. Fires downfield. He's got an open man. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Ball State. Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the time to be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone. That was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they top it off with a 31-yard toss for six. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Western Michigan offense ready to go back to work. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game, so Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. Wide out in motion. The give to the running back from the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. He hurls one deep down the left side. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. And I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of the look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? The Broncos will bring the punt team onto the field. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. He gets a block. 
He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on it. Ball State gets it back. The offense headed to the field. To the air, it's Kelly. Oh, he's going to pass it. That one falls incomplete. They reached into the bag of tricks on first down and couldn't pull it off. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. It's incomplete, and they'd been waiting to run that one and couldn't quite pull it off. It's third down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. A strike downfield. Oh, and the defense in chase mode, and they finally get him down at the 35. Defenses throughout the week study every third down situation. You've got to be ready for what they do, how they do it, and then be able to adjust. Great job by the offense so far having success. And the Cardinals racing to the line in the hurry up. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. They get him down, but he does pick up three to the 32-yard line. It, it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. On second down, looking to throw. It's incomplete. Tried a little razzle-dazzle there, but it'll be third down. Plenty of time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. On third and long, try to convert through the air. It falls incomplete, and that'll do it for the quarter. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. One more quarter to go, and it looks as if we are ready to play. They'll try to start this final period by putting a three spot on the board. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Guys, we're about to get another look at this Western Michigan offense. And he dropped it, just didn't look the thing all the way in. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Scanning the field, it's Wolf getting some heat. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the twelve. And I tell you what, this defense, they've heard all about how great this quarterback is. They came in today with a mission, with a purpose. They've been flying around, harassing him, and making life so hard on this offense. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. Nice move to keep moving. He's finally herded out of bounds. Really good pickup on third down and still not quite enough 
to move the chains. Yeah, I don't know defensively if you want to keep giving this guy that much cushion because when he gets the ball in space, he's able to shake all these defenders and turns a five-yard completion into a first down. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. Oh, it's a fumble. Now the defense has got it, and they're going the other way. Touchdown, Cardinals. Not content to get the fumble. They scored with the fumble. The defense comes up with the fumble and takes it to the house. The old scoop and score. Create the fumble, pick that puppy up, take it to the house. Great job by the defense, not only forcing the turnover, but getting points out of it. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. That is a defensive player's dream. Ball sitting there, chance to scoop it up, one with it, and they don't stop you until the band starts playing. The kickoff team just about set to go, and that defense is eager to get back out there after the scoop and score. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. And the returner will be knocked down. Western Michigan has it back as they send the offense onto the field. To the air, it's Wolf. He wants to go deep. And it slips through his fingers, incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. Well, trailing this much in the fourth quarter, the offense is looking for an explosive play to try to ignite them and get them back in this one, but nothing doing. Nice job in coverage. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Fires to the middle. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Fires to the wideout. That is just a sideline clinic. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find him. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win. And he gets a good release, gets down the field. You see, his that's your playmaker, that's your guy. Get it to him, get the first down. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And incomplete on the deep ball. You know, it's one thing to take shots early in a game when the defense may not be expecting it, but at this point, fourth quarter, you're trailing by a lot. They know you're going to do it, and the defense was expecting that one. Great job in the back end. All wide outs, no backs. They're going to throw it again. This time, he's got his man. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Quickly complete. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. This dude is putting in work out of the slot, and he is just wearing out this defense. Man, you see it, Reese, in football. They just, these slot guys are so quick, so athletic. You back them up off the football so you can't get hands on them, and you just find ways to continue to get him the football. He's making plays, so I'm going to continue to throw it his way. Quickly complete. Makes a catch and knockdown. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. Offense about to reel off its seventh play of the drive. Looking to throw. It's Wolf. Makes the grab down the middle. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. And I love when you understand when I'm supposed to put some RPMs on that football. You could tell he's thrown over the middle of the field. 
He knows he's got defenders there. I got to throw this thing in there quick, fast, in a hurry. Nice job by the quarterback. They've mastered third down in this drive, converting twice. Now they need just a few inches. Got his man quickly. They've got it inside the 40 at the 39 as they pick up the first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. And the Broncos have it with a first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. And the quarterback gets hit again. We already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller and certainly if you're the quarterback that you're going to have time to throw. This time he's got it. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. And when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of the guy in that slot position. He's got his man. Really strong job by the defense. A negative play on third down. I mean, getting suffocated right away. How about the DB? Just seeing that initially, pulling the trigger, getting to him, get him on the ground, get the tackle for a loss. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. Makes the catch. He's got enough. Turns out to be an easy conversion for this offense as they move the chains on fourth down. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now, a fresh set of downs. The Broncos have it in scoring position on first and goal. Working that left side now. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Western Michigan. This dude is just slicing and dicing this defense into little tiny pieces. Carving him up, completely comfortable, knows exactly what he's getting, had so much success today. you got to find a way to make these quarterbacks feel more uncomfortable. Here comes the two-point try. They'll try to run it in. Bounced off his feet. And these decisions to go for two, you see more and more of it throughout a game, chasing points. And then in the end, you wonder if this just comes back to bite you. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. <laughs> Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Ball State takes over the football, and the Cardinal offense headed out. He leaves it with his back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did, be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. The give to the back. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Quarterback extends the play. And he is corralled short of the line to gain. The Cardinals send out the punt unit. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He's got great speed. 
Garver's team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. The Western Michigan offense ready to go back to work. Trying to find his man on first down. Takes his shot. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. We know this guy's a weapon, not just taking handoffs, but he can catch the ball, too. That play, not so much. Got to do a better job reeling it in. Offense in an empty set. Dropping back, it's Wolf. Using the quick game. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Screen pass just not working there. You figure at this point of the game, trailing, you're going to have to be more aggressive and take some shots. You usually run screen passes when you think there's going to be a blitz, but because the defense has the lead, they're just sitting back and playing big zones. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. Throws to the wideout. He's got it. Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. They want to just keep throwing it. He's right on target. Just feeding his pads to the defense as he gets it to the 36. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the slot. Yeah, dude, get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. On second down, he's looking downfield. Oh, he wants it all. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. This quarterback desperately wants to make a chunk play, but they're going to be deep as the deepest, wide as the widest. He's got to be patient. No doubt. Situational football is probably one of the most underrated, untalked about things, like understanding the situation. I have the lead. They have to take shots down the field. Fires toward the end zone. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. Down by multiple possessions, you can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. Unloads to the wideout. Couldn't find his man, and they'll give up the football on downs. On first down, here comes this offense. Here's the handoff. At midfield, he's got room. And they're getting it rolling with that play to the 42-yard line. Well, I love that play call. This offense is going to run the football. They're not just going to do it between the tackles, but they're going to attack you outside. You saw that with that handoff. They get to the right. They get him in space using his speed. Good play call. They'll snap this one from the 42. It's first and 10. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. That's a really good job by the defense. Wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional. Put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking for a gap. It's Sloan. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Well, they're trying to run the football there. Just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Looking to throw. It's Kelly. Fires to the wideout. Makes the grab. Offense has gained momentum with third down conversions like that. They've got it at the 25. Well, this guy's been a go-to guy for this offense all game long. We've seen that. And here on a critical third down late in the game with the lead, guess who shows up with another big one? That guy. And the Cardinals are on the move. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Now he's going to glide away from pressure. 
And he tries to get away, but he cannot. He's taken down. He'll lose a couple. You know, one of the tricky parts with play action for a quarterback is that when you turn your back to the defense to sell the play fake, you have no idea what's going on behind you. You don't know what the coverage has become, and you don't know which D linemen have won their one-on-ones. The worst thing is you turn around after the play fake, and bam, that defender's right in your face. They gave up the sack on first down. Now it's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Fires to the big fella. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. It's so important that this offense is able to stay on schedule. And what that means is keeping third downs manageable. That last completion to the tight end accomplished just that. Really nice play call. A manageable distance on third down as they try to convert from the 20. From the gun, wants to pass. Quick completion on the out route. Russell to the ground after picking up the first down. He has been the go-to guy on offense all game long. And on a critical third down here in the fourth quarter, surprise, surprise, guess who they go to? That guy. The Cardinals have it with a first and ten. They want that clock to run. Able to get a couple on the play. He's down at the nine. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Right back to the well. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal from the right hash, and this distance makes that angle not quite so severe. And this one splits the uprights. And that lead grows even bigger. Lee just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. And he hauls it in and everybody's on the edge of their seats. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. We've reached the two-minute warning and we see miracles in college football all of the time. And they could use one here. Looking down the middle. Got his man downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. And I really like when offenses attack over the middle of the field. Between the linebackers and the safeties, there's usually a soft area that you can usually have some success. And really nice job by this offense taking advantage of those areas. Dropping back, it's Wolf. Throws to the wideout. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? And this defense has put a game together. Like It is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you could tell. They were ready, they were fast, they were physical. They dominated this football game today. Second and ten here. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. They had the big play to start the drive, but a couple of misfires now leaves us with third and ten. 
Wide receiver coming across in motion. The aerial assault continues. And he made the grab with enough for the first down, but not enough room on the sidelines to stay in bounds. That's fourth down. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't, they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. Fires to the wideout. It's incomplete, and the defense makes a stop and gets the football back. Looking for a productive play on first down. Handoff to the lone back. Breaks the tackle. They'll get him stopped at the 34. He's got 10 yards on that one and a first down. No mystery on that play. With the lead, we are going to run the ball. You know it's coming, and we are running right at you, right into the teeth of the defense, and they're still able to get a nice game. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. They'll give it to him again. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better soon. Or if I can quote the great Reese Davis, that was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. They'll leave it with him. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. 